everybody. And, uh, well, New Year's Eve, I'm sure you all have fantastic plans. And uh, every year I go away from uh, the day after Christmas to the day after New Year's. And uh, I plan to be somewhere warm this year and hopefully uh, drinking one of these delicious cocktails that I'm going to show you how to make right now. Instead of looking backwards, I like to think of New Year's as a new beginning. And so why not start off this year by experimenting with new recipes? On today's show, I'm going to share some of my favorite recipes for a New Year's party. Nothing starts off a great party like a festive cocktail. And here are two that are sure to win rave reviews. Um, the first one is very, very easy, and it includes one of my favorite liqueurs, and one that you may not be familiar with. It's called Mandarin Orange. And, uh, and it's um, flavored with delicious mandarin oranges, Mandarin Napoleon. And uh, it is utterly delicious. It's just like the essence of those little mandarin oranges, which look just like this. And I like to uh, take a little bit of the skin off the mandarin, and I like to uh, curl it and like that. It looks so pretty. Um, put just one ounce. Oh, and here we can measure one whole ounce of the liqueur in a little shot glass. Pour it into your champagne glass. And then top off with, where is our champagne? Should I pop our champagne, Nikki? Pop this gorgeous, oh, Dom Perignon, my favorite. I am going to open this. Now, you all know how to open champagne, right? Do you think it should pop? How many of you think the champagne should make a loud pop when you open it? How many? Hold your hands up. Ah, how many of you think it should sigh like a little baby going to sleep? You're right. Second batch. Let's see if I can accomplish this with this gorgeous bottle of Dom Perignon. We visited Dom Perignon um, uh, two summers ago, we went to their caves, and oh, it was so interesting to see how carefully made this, this kingly drink is. And uh, there, I'm finally getting this off, there. Okay, so now we want to twist until it's just a little sigh. I hope I do it right. Just, oh, perfect. That way, the bubbles, you can see, if you can get the camera real close to the champagne, you can see the bubbles rising in that very fabulous champagne. Um, and you can uh, see the bubbles rise in the glass as you pour it in. And this is a very elegant cocktail. Oh, it's so good. And now just drop in a little squiggle of your mandarin orange peel, and you have a really good drink. 